All right, guys, so let's get started on our makeup. I am gonna start by using a moisturizing primer. It's really a moisturizer, but can totally be used as a primer as well. So, if you guys didn't know, I am a dry child. I mean, I feel like I say it all the time, but I really am, especially when like fall, winter comes around. I get so, so dry, so I need something that's super moisturizing. So, if I can use a moisturizer as a primer and kind of take the place and still do the same job, I'm definitely gonna do it. Um, like I said, super dry. I need that hydration before I put my foundation on. Even filling my face right now, like, honestly, my face is pretty dry. Um, so, I have this moisturizer and I put it back in the packaging just because it is the cutest little packaging. This is from Juno & Co. This packaging is just so freaking luxurious. Like, this looks like something that should be like $300 the way it's packaged. And um, so I, I kept all the packaging so I can put it back together and show you guys how cute it is. The back says Juno & Co. Moonshine Miracle Cream. So that's what I'm going to be using as my cream moisturizer and as my primer before my makeup. Um, but look how cool you open it like this. It reminds me of like Charlotte Tilbury makeup, how it's expensive, but it has like such intricate packaging. Like this is not even crazy expensive for a good size moisturizer. This little baby is $35. So I think that's good. Honestly, like I think that's a reasonable price for a really good moisturizer, especially with it being super nicely packaged and thought out. So look how cute this is guys. I literally have kept this. I had to show you and it says baby you're a star can you see it's so cute okay let's let's get into the actual moisturizer now and the inside is all cute and like spacey um and it does look like a little freaking space like bomb it's so cute it looks like a little alien like pod I'm obsessed it's this beautiful like purple I, I know I'm not even talking about the product yet. I mean the actual like product inside, but the packaging is just so cute and like I'm a sucker for packaging and so when I saw this I was like This is very really cute. So this is the like I said the moonshine miracle cream um, I've been using this for a moisturizer and primer. So you unscrew the top And you take the little stopper out. Okay, I turned the brightness down for a second so you guys could kind of see The consistency. So this is a lid right here and see when I pulled it out. It's very like whipped creamy it does have the peak to it so you can see that it's a, it's thicker it's not like a watery moisturizer it's nice and thick and um yeah i just wanted to kind of show you guys the texture but let's put it on our face let me put you back bright all right now i have you guys back so um let me tell you a little bit about this moisturizer too so this actually has hyaluronic acid in it which is so good for your skin and on top of that it also has avocado extract which Avocados are super moisturizing and I love avocados. <laughs> I can eat them by themselves. But so I'm just gonna kind of, yeah, you guys can see the texture. It's like nice and thick. So I'm gonna take about that much. That's probably honestly too much. I feel like a little bit goes a long way with this. So I'm just gonna rub this in. It just feels like so good, guys. I'm a sucker for a good moisturizer. Like I said, I'm so freaking dry and it really just moisturizes my skin and normally on myself i start with my skin first and then i do my eyes last but my clients i start with their eyes so i think i'm gonna start with my eyes today just so i can let this really soak in my skin um for as long as possible before i start putting my makeup on just so it really soaks in so yeah guys 35 dollars is not bad for how amazingly high quality this product is um and just the fact that you can use it as a primer and a moisturizer is just so nice. I don't have to take that extra step and it really just moisturizes my skin. I also kind of like to put this on before I go to bed too. Um, I put like a little bit of a thicker layer so that way when I'm sleeping it's moisturizing my face. But I've also been using it before my makeup as a primer too. So super fluffy and the packaging is just so freaking cool. Futuristic, like this will look beautiful in your vanity and just... Juno and Co. really takes time with their packaging, and I just, I really appreciate it, and their products are so high quality. I'm even going to be playing with some brushes and one of their sponges. Um, I tried this the other day, but I'm going to, I'm opening a new one, because I was like, I've been using it, need to wash it, but I actually have another one, so I'm going to open a new one. This is the microfiber sponge. I'm also going to be using this in my face today, too. But, like I said, Moonshine Miracle Cream, $35, it is 
so moisturizing and I love that I can use it as a primer too. Just feels really good on your face. It almost just makes your face feel silky after. I feel like that's like a good way to put it. Not sticky at all. It instantly absorbs into the skin. It really just feels like a little silky layer is on your skin, which is good because when you put your foundation on, that's just going to glide right on top and it's going to look very flawless. So um, yeah, Moonshine Miracle Cream Juno & Co. I'm really loving this brand, guys. They're, they're, they just take so much time and they're like, whole little vibe is so cute look let me show you this thing it's honestly like luxury products at an affordable price whoa like does that just not melt your heart it's so cute so when i got this moisturizer i was instantly playing with it and um yeah it just kind of like shows their branding but it's literally adorable so i'm gonna go ahead and start let's do my eyes first so i'm gonna start with my brows i'm just using the hourglass brow pencil I think I might just skip through this I don't know do you guys even want to see me do my brows I feel like that's like just so basic all right so I don't really know what kind of eyeshadow look I want to do yet I just kind of wanted to do something fall so I got this new palette and I want to use it this is the 3503 fierce by nature this is the morphe palette I recently got a morphe's PR and I was super super stoked so this is the palette right here and I'm I mean that gold is pretty cool so I'm trying to figure out kind of like what look I want to do. Um, I'm also going to an event later that I'm probably going to be wearing teal. So I kind of want to do something that also goes with teal. I love that these fold back. It's like folding back is like the best thing. Save so much space. Not only that, but like it just, I don't know. I just I love that. Okay, so I'm going to set my lid. Okay, I'm going to set my lid with the nude that's in this palette which I feel like might be a little dark for me, yeah it is. So, I might need to use, you know what, we're gonna use this other transition shade first. So, I just laid down this transition. So, I'm actually gonna use my Dragon Beauty face powder, the pink one and the yellow mixed. And I'm gonna go over my, right under my brow with this, just to kind of, Brighten that since the other one isn't bright enough. So now that my crease is nice and in, I'm gonna go ahead with this shade to start deepening my crease. And then I'll probably play like on these three to deepen up my crease even more. All right, I'm just gonna start deepening my crease as I get closer into the socket of my eye. Okay, so instead of going into those up here, that I was gonna do. I think I'm gonna play more in this round. So, I probably should use that as my transition, but we're gonna go like in the more mauve pinky realm. So I'm just going over this with a bit of that pink shade. Whoop. All right, I'm gonna press some shadow into the crease of my eye. So now I'm adding in some like plum kind of shade. I really just wanted to deepen it a little bit. Okay, I wasn't gonna carve out my lid, but I think I'm gonna end up doing it. I'm going to carve that out. I just don't know what shade I'm gonna put on my lid and something I like to do once I carve out the crease like I just did is I will take the small brush and just fade it out and just blend out those lines so a little shift of gears as I was doing my eyeshadow um, I remembered this picture I saw of that Kylie Jenner or someone posted of Kylie Jenner the other day and she she has a look similar to this, and this is like light, and then right here is a pop of teal. And teal, like this, like the Daisy Marquez palette, is the color that I'm gonna be wearing tonight. And I just remembered, there is a really pretty matte teal and a shimmery teal in this palette. So, I think I'm gonna kinda go that vibe kinda how Kylie did. And we'll see how it goes. 
But also with this palette, you guys, I do, whoa, I do have a coupon code with Beach Cosmetics. As you guys know, I do make a small commission, small little percentage, but it does help me keep going. It helps me be able to do this with my career and it helps me be able to uh, serve you guys some more content. So if you guys want to pick up this palette, which I do use this palette all the time. I also have another one of these palettes that I have in my kit. I use this on Tana all the time. If you guys remember that teal inner corner, that was these. Like this palette has been loved for sure. But yeah, so the coupon code is Megs, M-E-G-S, and you guys get some money off your order. But let's do my eye. I'm going to take the Daisy Marquez. Oh, that's so much better. Wow. Love Morphe, but BH Cosmetics shadows are also really, really good. Okay, so I'm using the shade Naked from um, Daisy's palette. Again, just taking a brush and kind of fading out the nude shade so I'm just going back with that dark purple and just kind of sweeping it along the lash line and in the outer part of my eye <clears throat> so now that I have that I'm actually going to take the small brush again and take naked from Daisy Marquez and apply that as a base for the teal just to brighten right here okay so now I'm going to take the matte teal which is actually the shade Daisy in this palette. And I'm gonna pat it just right here. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it for the shadow. I did want the teal to be more just like a little pop, but it kind of got like blended in a bit, but still not opposed to it. I still think it's cool. So I don't think I'm gonna do like an actual liquid liner. I think I'm just gonna take the black from the Morphe palette because it is very black and smudge that into my lash line. I love doing this instead of actual eyeliner because eyeliner is so hard for me to get off. Like eyeliner and mascara, I dread taking it off. And it's just so easy. So if you make a mistake, like it's so easy to fix. Alright guys, I'm going to put on some mascara and some lashes. I'm going to be wearing the Anna Martini lashes in Shy Girl. So they are gorgeous. Again, Anna Martini, Shy Girl. I'm going to go ahead and put my mascara on, put these on, and then we'll come back and do my face. Alright, so now let's do our face. I just put these lashes on. I am obsessed. They are gorgeous. So beautiful. So I'm really excited because I have also been using this sponge. Like I said, I had one that was already open that I've been using and I had one more so I just opened it. This is one of those little fuzzy micro fiber sponges. Cool that is. So I tried this for the first time a few days ago and I actually really, really enjoyed it. And it's so weird because it's almost like a little baby like fuzzy, like you don't think it would apply your makeup well, but it actually does. So since I already have my moonshine moisturizer slash primer on, I'm going to go ahead and use foundation. Now I'm like a weird kind of tan, like look at how tan my arm is compared to my face. Um, so I'm probably just going to mix some foundation. So I'm going to mix the 112 Meet Your Hue Dose of Colors and then I'm going to mix a little bit of Syracuse NARS just because it has that little bit like olive -y, you know, a little more tan undertone. So I like that I can mix these for when I apply. So I'm just mixing that together. It just makes it not as yellow. Cause see that yellow right there? That's how yellow the Dose Colors one is. So it just kind of takes that down a bit. So first I just tap all over my face. All right guys, we're doing a whole mix today. So I'm putting on the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I like to use it as a foundation. The one I just mixed is a little dark. So I'm going to just kind of use the darker one on the perimeter. Oh, I don't look at my hair all. Foundation-y, but I can't find a headband right now. And I'm just gonna mix this in together to lighten it up. And I always go on my ear too because my body is a lot more tan. Way too much foundation on today because these the Born This Way concealers are beautiful as foundations, but they also, dude, this eyelash is tickling the hell out of me. I gotta cut that. Um, they also, like a little goes a long way. But they look so good. So I'm just using the bottom of it to kind of blend. Maybe suck up any extra foundation. 
It's so weird, I never thought I would end up trying one of these sponges. And when Juno gifted me one, and then I started playing with it, I was like, this is actually really nice. Like, I see why Nikki tutorials. You guys, Ty keeps calling me, and it's stopping the video every time. Oh, okay. So, foundation is on, as you guys can see definitely is nice and applied evenly um the good thing about this sponge since it has the little like fibers on it it doesn't soak up as much as your foundation so like i said like i'm still trying to get used to that i don't need to use as much um because it just doesn't need that much you know okay before again he keeps calling me we like we don't get to see each other too often so we always like to like facetime each other but I'm like, babe, I'm working. <laughs> so I'm using the um, 05. This is the Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancer. And I haven't used this in so long and I've had it forever. So I really wanted to use it today. So as you guys can tell, this is definitely like a lot lighter. But I love having like a lighter under eye. Wow, this blends this concealer so nice. I haven't really used this concealer in a long time, so. Especially with me using these sponges this week. I like this sponge for setting because it has the little fiber, so it's able to hold the powder. So um, it kind of like packs on a good amount. So I'm using the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. If you guys don't have this powder or if you guys have not tried this powder, powder you definitely need to. It's freaking amazing. Like. Like, literally no sponsorship, nothing. I'm just obsessed. The highlighted areas. And whatever's left, I kind of just tap over my cheeks. So that way my bronzer and contour will, like, just apply really well. Really smooth. Just look how beautiful that is, guys. Like, it's this sponge just sets so well. All right, I'm gonna gel my eyebrows because it's, it's bugging me that they're not gelled. One thing I can't leave the house without is gelled eyebrows, and I really can't leave the house without the um, Benefit one. So the Benefit 24-hour brow setter, I am not on Benefit's PR list or anything, guys. Like, I buy this shit literally every couple months. Like, that's this is my life. And then once I, like, apply my little tip, instead of leaving the brow hair, it's just, like, chilling. What I'll do is I'll take my finger and I'll press the gel like into my skin. So the brow like does not move. Like that. So now I have nice fluffy brows. Okay, let's go into my face. Now, I can't live without my Milani bronzer in Dulce 09. This is like my favorite thing in the whole world. I can't like, if I don't have this, I feel like my makeup doesn't look good. Like it's something I have, like have, 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 have to have in my life. Or else I'm like, am I even wearing makeup? But I love this bronzer. If you have like skin tone similar to mine, like it's just so perfect and like nice and warm but not orange it has a little bit of glow in it like this is my shit guys i literally can't live without this powder and then i'm just gonna use this brush to kind of brush off the shedding powder let's see looks like it clumps a little bit right here just to add a little bit of warm so it's not like too too light right here around my nose and then I just kind of look how pretty like I'm not kidding guys like I can't live without it I literally can't live without this bronzer I've gone through probably six of these and then I'm gonna take whatever's left and I don't really contour my nose like this is kind of like the thing I do I just Take a brush and like fluff it on. Oh my god, so gorgeous. 
Okay, now I'm gonna use my new baby, which is the Nikita Dragon face palette. I'm obsessed. I know some people are like, boo, it's gonna be cheap, blah, blah, blah. Girl, I personally love it. I'm using Femme right now, which is the lighter shade to kind of start. My contour. So again, I use the other one more for bronzer, and this is more my contour vibe. Dude, what happened to my eyebrow? I need to get my eyebrows done well. Don't mind my brows, guys. They're a little wonk today. Okay, so I do that just on my cheeks for like a little bit of a cheek contour, and then I literally do this. I go one, 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 tap it off. And then that's like the darkest part of my contour bronzer vibe. Is just, just back here only. Look how pretty that is guys. So one, two, three, tap it off. Maybe go back in femme again if it feels like I got too much of the darker one. It just applies so well and blends out so well. And I also like love that everything's in one spot. So like I really don't have to worry about, you know, like grabbing all these products. Like I just need this palette. And then I do the sides of my jaw right here. Okay, I'm gonna highlight really fast. I'm gonna use silicone, which is the gold shade out of the Nikita palette. It's freaking gorgeous. Obsessed. Down the nose. Keeping it a little bit tighter, just the tip. So that way. And then I do do like a little lineup just so it pulls my nose up a bit. A little on the forehead because I don't get oily or anything. And then blush, I'm going to be using BB Girl instead of T Girl. I'm going to use this little guy. I'm going to just pick some blush up. Lately I've been into brushing it like a little bit higher. I used to be very like here only and now I'm like um, I think I need the sensual skin enhancer in every shade for my kit. That kind of just changed my life. I haven't used it in literally so long guys, so that was like a throwback for Okay, let's do under eyes and then we'll be done all right so for my under eyes i'm going to dip into kind of like the burgundy shade we were using and i'm just gonna look up okay, i'm just gonna look up and go sorry i'm gonna have to shadow this for a second okay and then i'm gonna take a baby brush and apply that right there just to add that little bit of pop and if you notice, I'm not really applying this like on the bottom of my tear deck, more just focusing it on the top of it. Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna put some bottom mascara on and a lip and I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so I just added a little bit of a liner into my waterline. I just did like a burgundy, added some bottom mascara and threw a lip on. Um, I will, shoot, what am I wearing on my lip? I will write what I'm wearing on my lips in the description. I'm wearing a Revlon gloss with a uh, Charlotte Tilbury pencil. So, lately I've been really into just wearing some lip liner and a gloss or lip liner and chapstick. I don't know what it is. It's just easy, it's quick, and I really like it. So, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this look, this kind of like vampy-ish fall makeup. I don't know, because it's not really fall. I originally thought it was going to be more like deep and orangey, but I kind of went into this vibe, and I actually saw a picture of Kylie Jenner with like the purple teal kind of a uh, little makeup going on and I felt really inspired by it. So as soon as I kind of saw it going that way, I was like, ooh, 
I'm gonna kind of go that way. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you guys like makeup tutorials and you, if you would like to see more of them. I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure to follow me on Instagram as well and Twitter. You guys can tweet me at any time. I'm always on Twitter answering and I'm always, you know, replying to my DMs and all that jazz. So make sure to follow me on Instagram as well and keep updated for more videos. So please subscribe to my channel, guys. I have not posted in a while and I'm trying to post more now. So if you guys could help me out, subscribe, turn on that bell notification and leave some comments of videos you guys want to see or anything you guys want to learn or talk about. But anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, babes. Mwah.